Hi, it's Philip from Chateau Avensac. And there's a little nip in the air because we're now in October and it's just that lovely autumn season at the Chateau. Recently, we have some light bulbs that are lighting up, <laughs> which means some of the electrical is getting hooked up and it's really very exciting. So I thought I'd explore a little how you put electrical into an old house made of stone. Let's take a look. Here I am, I'm in the entrance hall where I've started and we're looking at this panel right next to the front door and you can see on either side of the panel there's been con there's conduit laid in the wall. They really have this great machine that has two blades on it that they just put up against the wall and it cuts through the plaster and the stone and they can use that to uh, make the channel and then put in the electrical conduit. If we get a little bit closer you can kind of see here there's uh, some of the electrical conduit there. There's not uh, any wires in it yet. They lay the conduit and then they fish the wiring through it after it's done. And in this part of the house where you're gonna plaster over the electrical, this is the method they use. They just kind of cut the most direct path to where they need to go. And you can kind of see as I look up that uh, the conduits are going straight up and then they're actually going up to the room above uh, and continuing up into the attics where everything kind of runs through the attics with lots of space. You'll also notice this lovely wire delicately and elegantly draped across the wall and across the front entrance. And that is supplying our very temporary light bulb fixture uh, so that we have some light in this part of the house. And then up until very recently, this was the only light bulb in this whole section of the house and including the east wing to light up the house, that was it. But as you can see, kind of currently stored here in the entrance hall, I have two chandeliers. We bought these chandeliers at auction, um, I think a few months ago. And they are just waiting here until the electrical system is in place and we're actually ready to hang them. They're both of the same style, one slightly bigger than the other. The bigger one is gonna go into the dining room or the salle à manger. And that's this one on the left. And this one on the right is gonna be going into the salon. And you can see they've got lots of bubble wrap all around them. Those are the crystals hanging from the chandelier, all individually wrapped. There's actually a bunch of additional crystals that are in a box uh, being held until we hang them and then they'll be added on as well. And so uh, these two light fixtures will get hung in the chateau. This is very exciting. So in another part of the house, uh, where we have exposed stone, the method of installing the conduit is a little bit different. So let's go take a look at that. she's an extra large, but uh, her name is Claire. Claire Voyant. Claire, meet all of the lovely people out there. Hello. Now, Claire, what is it exactly that you do do? Well, what I do do is I summon the ghosts of various chateaus across Europe. Uh, now, Claire, uh, Judy doesn't believe in such things, ghosts and booga booga and, and Talamatha Salomon kind of things. So, so how is it exactly that you're going to do, do this? Well, what I'm going to do, do is look into my crystal ball. Uh, Claire, and you I'm know that that's a, uh, Claire, 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 that's a rubber beach ball. So, now, how are you going to do it? You have just upset the voice. What I'm going to do is rip the Well, at least that's real. I can feel, I can feel Monsieur the 
Monsieur! Monsieur! Oh, wait. Monsieur! Like crap? Like poop! Ayaem Fernand, le comte de Puy. Grandson of John Marie, the builder of the château. What do I want? You walk me from my slumber. What do you want? What do we want? I don't know! Ah, Monsieur Le Puy! Um, are you happy with the renovations here at your château of Insac? Ah, oui. J'adore de restauration work going on at the château. C'est magnifique. Oh, yeah, he says he's really cool with it. He mm. likes it a lot. Mm. Cool. Now, you know, Claire, uh, Judy doesn't really believe in all this uh, hooey pooey ooh, stuff. Uh, so we're just going to stop right here. Uh, Philip, would you turn the paintings back around, please? Uh, uh, everyone, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. And uh, we want to thank Claire for being with us today. I'm Judy from Chateau Avensac. That's Claire Voyant from Chateau Avensac. You have a great day! Strange things are happening in the chateau. All right, let's carry on with the tour of the electrics. Before I leave the entrance hall, I just want to point out, I just noticed this, I was about to go through these doors. These doors in the entrance hall are set in arches, and a part of the electrics uh, are going over the arch, and that is because where, just below here, ah, where these flowers are currently tied to the wall, there are going to be wall sconces, so the electrics are coming down to feed those wall sconces. And if you look at them very gracefully, the electric is also arching over. And you can see that they're partially filled in where the channel is with the conduit. And that's just to secure the conduit in place. The finish work uh, is going to happen by us um, to finish plastering, smooth out the walls, and then repaint. So all that work will happen on our side. So what we see now was done by the electricians. He just put a little bit of plaster in just to kind of secure the, uh, to secure the conduit. All right. So we're going to carry on through into the petite entree. And that is because there's a different technique going on in the petite entree. And, ah, oh, perfect. We can really see it in this corner. Uh, here, because we're going to leave some of this exposed stone, you can see that the conduit is being fished around the existing stone. So they didn't just cut through the stone, a, you know, a straight channel and then run the conduit. Instead, they chisel out between the stones, push the conduit in, and then we will uh, fill that in when we do the joinery work or the pointing work with uh, a line mixture. And so in this room, you can kind of see that that's going on. I have another right by the door. You can kind of see how it zigzags up around the door uh, to do that. And that way when it's filled in, it doesn't, there's, it's not even noticed that, you know, electric had to be put in. It'll look all nice and finished. And if we go into the back kitchen, we can see in here, and you can see here there's a, a plug and a switch. Uh, this is gonna be a kitchen countertop going in here. And uh, you can see that the same kind of conduit work was done in the wall, and we've done the joinery work here where we filled in with the uh, lime uh, plaster and also <laughs> delightful light bulb is. <laughs> There's going to be a sconce there above the sink. Uh, so that's all been filled in already, so you can just kind of see how that covers up. And you can even see it in this 
the spot right here where there's gonna be a switch mounted. So they did chisel out to get better lighting. There we go. They did chisel out uh, the stone because it's right where the light switch is gonna be, but then the conduit's actually running around everything. And after doing the joinery work or the pointing, that all gets filled in and you don't really see that. So in these few rooms in the back of the house, or in, sorry, the back of the house, we're in the east wing of the house, which is really the service wing. Um, we're keeping the exposed stonework and that is the technique that is used to do that. All right, for the final part of the electrics, let's talk about one of the electrical panels. And I think there's gonna ultimately be three electrical panels in the house. And one of them is under the stairs in the butler's pantry. There's a little mechanics room. I think I was showing an earlier version of this in a previous video. And I just wanna point out that a little more work has been going on. And you can see here we are, I'm under the stairs. This is like up, just above me is the landing of the staircase. So it kind of goes up, switches back. And I'm under that landing where it switches back. And you can see the um, uh, circuit breakers or disjointeur uh, are being installed and the wires coming from other places are all, you know, getting placed. And eventually, I hope there's a really good <laughs> system of labeling what's what. Because <laughs> there's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, circuit breakers here. I did notice that the electricians have some kind of um, a list of what's what. And you can also see on the wires here, right there, there's little tabs on the wires. I presume they're somehow indicating where things are coming from. And I think I noted before in this little space, there's also going to be uh, a water heater for the kitchen and the bathroom above. And uh, yeah, here we are in the space. And <laughs> I think in the last video, I mentioned this strange um, cement block wall uh, uh, still when I live in the house. Uh, and so this obviously was some work that was done much later on at some point, in some renovations. And they were using the cement block. So I'm going to come out of that space. And if I come around, you can see, right, so straight through is where I was, where I just was. And you can kind of see there's like a little doorway just to the left under the stairs. And that's where that uh, circuit panel will be. Tableau de l'Electricité. And here's the steps that are going up and you can see it's at that landing. It's just below that landing uh, in this, that storage space below where the electrical panel is. So the work continues. The electricians have hooked up some temporary electrical just to, so we have some lights. It's kind of glorious and uh, we carry forward. And then there's still lots more work to do. There's still a lot of electrical that needs to be, um, not a lot that needs to be installed, but a little bit more that uh, needs to be installed, the rough electrical, some wires pulled and things like that. But the work continues. Well, I've now stepped outside because every time I start to speak, the table saw upstairs goes off. And well, it's okay, because that's the sound of progress. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our, or the update of our electrical systems at Chateau. It's really quite a huge project because the entire system in every room and every level of Chateau is being replaced. All of the wiring is being replaced, uh, everything up until the meters. So it's, it's a big project. So um, it's been taking a long time, but we're really starting to see the fruits of that labor. So it's very exciting. A special thanks to our patrons whose contributions go directly to the renovations of the Chateau and, the, and to our viewers whose support is really greatly appreciated. Thank you. And don't forget, if you're interested in some of the Chateau merchandise, go to our website at atachateau.com and click on Shop Chateau Treasures. Thank you very much.
come to me. 